Kyle Dubas does it again, striking a really nice deal for the Toronto Maple Leafs, acquiring Ryan Dezingle, Ryan's best name going, and Eli Labushkin, one of the coolest last names going, for Nick Ritchie, totally useless player for the Maple Leafs, and a conditional second or third round pick, depending on which year the Toronto Maple Leafs choose to give that pick to the Arizona Coyotes. It could either be in 2023 or 2025. Now, I've said it on this channel a few times before, Leafs fans, that I think the Maple Leafs have a pretty good GM. I know not everybody in Leafs Nation totally agrees with that, but I think he wins more than he misses, and this one's definitely a win. So we signed Nick Ritchie. It didn't work out. Then he ends up ditching Nick Ritchie without holding any salary, brings in two guys that will be UFAs next year that won't put him in cap hell. You get a big right shot defenseman that'll muck it up in Labushkin, who can go ahead and work somewhere into your top six. Maybe he rides the bench for a bit. Who knows where he fits in, but he's an NHL caliber defenseman, but he's definitely not a point machine. And that's okay. That's not what the Leafs need. We've been talking about it for a while. The Leafs just need a little bit of grit back there, maybe a little bit of size. So I think he will get into the top six. He'll get some big minutes. He'll be trustworthy and he'll be part of the playoff run. And then they get Ryan Dezingle, the former seventh round pick. He was a very coveted asset a few years ago, if you forget Leafs fans, when he moved over from Ottawa to Columbus. That's when Columbus went all in, even though they should have been sellers at the deadline. They bought everybody and everybody ran away anyway. He was part of that, and he had a pretty good playoff run with the Jackets. Frankly, I, I think Leaf fans will remember that fondly. Well, he's now a Toronto Maple Leaf, so I think this adds in. I do think the Zingle's going to play in the bottom six. I don't think he's going to play in the top six, but that's okay. Nick Ritchie was designed to play in the top six, or at least he was picked up to fit into that spot. They don't need him to. He, he'll play somewhere in the bottom six, maybe the middle six, maybe. He just fits. It, it's just a nice fit, especially for the fact that Nick Ritchie wasn't bringing anything to the Toronto Maple Leafs. And speaking of fit, if you're new here to Hot Garbage Sports, we are sponsored by BetUS, and we'd love you to move over to their site and give them a quick join. If you enjoy recreational gambling on hockey, you get 125% sportsbook bonus on your first deposit. That's exclusive to Hot Garbage Sports. You can't get that anywhere else, even by going over to their site normally. So our viewers and watchers, 125% on your first deposit. And you can smash a couple fun bets on the Leafs heading into the playoffs. I know I sure will be. So this ends up leaving the Leafs with about $1 million left in cap space. I don't think the Leafs are fully done here at this point, but even still, they've made a move. They've added a couple pieces. They got rid of a boat anchor that really didn't matter in Nick Ritchie. And if I'm the Arizona Coyotes, and I don't talk much about Arizona because Arizona, wah, wah, pfft, nobody cares. The Arizona Coyotes GM played this exactly the way I play this on NHL 22. I'm like, ah, crap. I got two UFAs sitting in my roster in franchise mode. I don't know what to do with them. Nobody wants them. Hey, does anybody want it for this, for this, for this, for this? I'll take anything I can get. And the interesting thing about Nick Ritchie going over to Arizona is he joins their forwards as one of three people that's actually signed to the team next year. I'm going to go ahead and pull it up here on cap friendly for you to take a look here. They actually have Nick Schmaltz, Andrew Ladd, and Nick Ritchie. That's it. Everybody else is an RFA or a UFA next year. And somehow in this team, they're actually not the lowest cap team. I mean, these guys are going to be sellers forever. What is going on with Arizona? This is an absolute joke. Look at this roster. If you take Jacob Chikrin off this roster, there is nothing else there. Not even Shane Gosper, who's having a fine year with this. But I mean, take a look at this. Every single player on their roster, minus a couple, need a new contract next year. The only thing that makes me laugh today is the fact that TSN has the Arizona cap space as a trade bait in their position number 10. So whatever, Arizona, an absolute joke. Enjoy playing in front of 4,500 fans. I don't know why Bettman puts up with this crap. What an embarrassment of a professional sports team. But the Leafs did great on this one.